Presentation of the Wizard of Oz on the Mark and Brian radio program. With the magic slippers on her feet, her dog Toto at her heels, and the little munchkins marching on ahead, Dorothy is on her way to the Wizard of Oz. They reach the border of Munchkin Land, and the little people have waved goodbye and disappeared. Well, Toto, now where? Hmm, we're, we're still in the yellow brick road, but it goes in two different directions. Hmm, which way do we go? Uh, pardon me, but that way's a very nice way. Huh, who, who's, who said that? <laughs> oh, don't be silly, Toto. That's just a scarecrow in the cornfield. Scarecrows don't talk. On the other hand, that way's very pleasant also. Oh, huh. why, he did talk. Is there anything so unusual about that? <laughs> well, yes, there is. Uh, uh, why do you shake your head? I mean, both yes and no at the same time. Uh, that's my trouble. I can never make up my mind about anything. Oh? Now, the fact is, I haven't got a brain. Take a look at my head, you'll see. It's, it's just straw. Just straw, just like the rest of me. <laughs> But how can you talk if you don't have a brain? Oh, well, some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? <laughs> well, yes, I guess you're right. What's he doing? Y your dog? Toto? Why, he's licking your hand. Oh, that's what I thought. I guess I didn't scare him, huh? No, of course not. I can't even scare a crow. Oh, they come for miles around just to pick off the straw for their nests. It's not all that flattering, you know. I mean, I'm afraid that it's because I don't have a brain. Well, hmm. what would you do with the brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain, I could... I could... I could while away the hours. Burn with the flowers, sultan with the rain, and my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. With the thoughts I'd be thinking I could be another Lincoln If I only had a brain Oh, I could tell you why The ocean's near the shore I could think of things I never thunk before And then I'd sit and think some more I would not be just a nothing, my head all full of stuffing, my heart all full of pain. And perhaps I deserve you and be even worthier you if I only had a brain. Oh, I could tell you why the ocean's near the shore. I would think of things I never thunk before. And then I'd sit and think some more. I would not be just enough in my head all full of stuffing and my heart all full of pain. And perhaps I deserve you and be even worthier of you if I only had a brain. a scarecrow singing and dancing. Why, if our scarecrow back in Kansas could do that. What's Kansas? 
Well, that's where Toto and I come from. And I want to get back there so badly that I'm going all the way to the Emerald City to get the Wizard of Oz to help me. The Wizard? Well, did you think if I went along, he could give me some brains, maybe? Oh, oh I think you'd better stay here. I got a witch mad at me, and you might get into trouble. Oh, well, I'm not afraid of a witch. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, except maybe a lighted match. <laughs> well, since you're made out of straw, I can hardly blame you for that. Oh, won't you take me with you, please? Oh, of course I will. Gladly. Hooray! I'm gonna leave the cornfield! And see a wizard, I hope. What are we waiting for? We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> And holding an axe. Come on, Dorothy. Oh, be careful, please. You too, Toto. Look here on the grass. Right here. An oil can. <laughs> uh, did you say something? Well, no. He did. <laughs> Talk again. Oh, I can talk my arms. Please. Oh, my arms. Oh. 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 My elbows. A little bit. Oh. Oh, that's so. Oh, God. That, oh, that's so wonderful. Thank you. Oh, God. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Relief. I believe I need some oil in too, Dorothy. <laughs> you know, I've held up this axe for ages. And it's so big and heavy, too. Thanks. Oh, my goodness. How did you ever get like this in the first place? Well, about a year ago, I was chopping that tree when suddenly it began to rain and I rusted so solid I haven't been able to move since. Well, you're perfect now. Perfect? Just bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead, bang on it. Beautiful! What an echo! <laughs> you see? It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart? No heart. Oh. All hollow. And believe me, not having a heart, well, it presents problems. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kinda human, if I only had a heart I'd be tender, I'd be gentle And awful sentimental Regarding love and art 
I'd be friends with the sparrows, even the boy that shoots the arrows, if I only had a heart. Picture me, a balcony, above a voice sings low, wherefore art thou, Romeo? I hear a beat, how sweet, just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. I would stay young and chipper, and I'd lock it with a zipper if I only had a heart. certainly see what you mean. Oh, but you were whispering, you and him, while I was singing. Well, we were just wondering if you'd care to go with us to the Emerald City. Then we could ask the Wizard of Oz for a heart. But suppose he wouldn't give me one when we got there. Oh, but he will. He must. We've come such a long way already. <laughs> The witch! The wicked witch! Well, my two fine gentlemen, helping the little lady along, are you? Well, you stay away from her. Oh, oh, oh yeah? yeah? Yeah! I'll stuff a mattress with you, you straw man! And you! I use that tin carcass for a beehive! Gosh, <laughs> yes, what a witch! <laughs> uh, uh, you want to play? <laughs> you want to play scarecrow? Well, here, catch! Oh no! No! It's a no! 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 Stay still! Stay still with my tin feet! Okay, okay, okay. Now you can move. I got it. Oh, much obliged, Tin Woodsman. Oh yes, we both are. Um, I'm still not afraid of her though. I'm going to see you safely to the wizard, whether I get a brain or not. Stuff a mattress with me. Ha! <laughs> and I'll see that you reach the wizard, whether I get a heart or not, Dorothy. Oh, you're the best friends anybody ever had. And it's funny, but I feel like I've known you all the time. You're just like Hunk and, and Hickory, but... Oh, no, I couldn't have known you, could I? I certainly don't see how. Uh, I guess it, it doesn't really matter because we know each other now, all right. That's right. We do. Then to Oz? To Oz! We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> the Lux Radio Theater presentation of the Wizard of Oz will continue in a moment on the Mark and Brian radio program.